Pete Morgan. Live from the Black Country Living Museum. It's Pete Morgan on BBC WM. 95.6 live from the Black Country Living Museum. The past will meet the future here today. It's day 43 of the torch relay. The Olympic flame continuing on its way to Cannon Hill Park in Birmingham for a proper Birmingham and Black Country welcome. A little bit later on, 30,000 people expected to be down there uh, a little bit later. It's going to be an absolutely incredible evening. He's so, so proud of this. The torch, as he goes past me, as I sent him, he waves to me. Thank you very much, Dennis. Lovely to see you. What a tremendous occasion this is to see this happen. Dennis Sanders is on his way, walking up the high street with the torch towards the tram. You'll have seen people walk it, you'll have seen people run it, you'll have seen people dance it, but you have not seen anybody take their leg, their 300 metres of the torch relay on a tram. Well, the torch will then pass through West Bromwich and Smethwick before finally arriving in Birmingham and here at Cannon Hill Park. BBC WM 95.6 News. There's more online at bbc.co.uk slash Birmingham. BBC WM 95.6 Live from the Torch Relay Concert at Cannon Hill Park with Adrian Goldberg, Graham Torrington and Paul Franks. But you know, I was on air this morning and picking up that, that sense of this rolling stone gathering moss as it travelled through the West Midlands. Uh, Mark Regan outside Cannon Hill Park. Whereabouts is that torch now, Rego? We're right outside the new Vrumbled uh, Edge Baston uh, County Cricket uh, Ground. Uh, Sir Cliff Richard uh, waving to uh, the fans uh, left and right. He's got the Olympic flame in his right hand. He's waving with his left hand. So we're literally about a matter of metres away from uh, Cannon Hill Park. We're live on the BBC website. You can see the pictures as well. bbc.co.uk forward slash Birmingham on the WM Facebook site and on Twitter. Our team of reporters are all out there now. Let's go straight to Adrian Goldberg, who has another VIP with him. Well, you know me, Frankie, I like hobnobbing to yes. my right. You like chips as well. I've got away to my right. The Lord Mayor of Birmingham, Councillor John Lines, in all his finery, he's got his chains, he's got his feathered hat. Amy Bennett, who's with uh, one of the torchbearers, who actually received the torch today from... Uh, the main act tonight, Amy. Tom actually received the torch, as you said, from The Wanted in Newtown today. Yeah, yes, I did, yes. It was very exciting, very honoured. It just makes us feel so good about our future that we can see something like this happening. There you go, Frank. See, you've been talking about a bit of good news, the way in which the Olympics can inspire people to do good things and positive things. There is the living proof of it in this park today in Cannon Hill Park. Raneem and Emma, 15 and 14, travelled over from Coventry and they want a future putting on big, popular events like this that inspire people. As a real celebrity... Well, at least as far as her family are concerned, the final torchbearer who's going to bring the torch into Cannon Hill Park tonight is a young lady called Kieran Sahota. She is 26. She is from Birmingham, from Hansworth, and she was nominated by her sister, Amon Preet. And I'm delighted to say that Amon Preet is with me now. So, Amon Preet, why did you nominate your sister? Why does she deserve to carry the torch into Cannon Hill Park on the final leg of the West Midlands torch relay for today. It sounds even more amazing when you say it like that, but the reason why I nominated her is because she's done so much for the community, looked after my granddad who's disabled, and she's also working with a local charity, the John Taylor Hospice. So it's amazing that the average person gets to do something like hold the, hold the torch as well as light the cauldron right at the end to close the ceremony in Birmingham. But it is a hugely emotional moment, not just for Kieran Sahota, but for all of the crowd who now make their way from the barrier into the centre of the arena here in Cannon Hill Park as Kieran Sahota now runs the final 50 metres towards the stage where the children are waiting and the Lord Mayor Councillor John Lines as well. Kieran Sahota holding aloft the Olympic torch. The flame burns brightly. She waves to the crowd again. She walks the final few yards because, well, why would you want to give this up? You'd want to milk this moment forever. What a moment for all of the torchbearers. Now, Kieran Sohota climbs the steps onto the stage. Oh, almost, almost just trips, but gets away with it. She's on stage. She holds the torch aloft. And now, inside Cannon Hill Park, on the big stage directly in front of me, we have, very shortly, the lighting of the cauldron. Let's just uh, give you a flavour of the atmosphere inside Cannon Hill Park right now. Kieran 
Sahota makes her way towards the cauldron on the stage here at Cannon Hill Park to light the cauldron. Now Kira Tohota moves forward, places the torch into the cauldron, and it lights. And just listen to the noise from the thousands of people inside Cannon Hill Park.